guys, the day has finally come. I know we as a family have been waiting for this, but it happened. It finally, it happened. I did go to a chapel, but I got married. So today I am finally sitting down to tell you everything from A to wedding day. Okay, I wanna tell you the preparations, the dress, the day, the the, the planning, the food, the, ev the everything. Cause I got married to Mr. Tutorials Dylan. I'm a wife. <laughs> I won't stop you with that. Mm -mm. So, if you're in the mood for a corny ass, it's come a big lump of naps. It has to choose. It has to choose. If you're in the mood for our magical day, sit down, grab a snack. I'll be doing my makeup with you. My full face will be Nimya and Maybelline products only. Nimya is my own brand. Maybelline is my favorite drugstore brand. I want to show you that you can look absolutely flawless on your magical day when you're on a budget. Like you don't need to spend the crazy coins to look the best. So I'm partnering up with them today. Thank you so much, Maybelline for this opportunity. And without any further ado, ladies and gents, let's go. <laughs> All right, so before I even get started, I just wanted to let you know that my mind is all over the place. This literally happened, what, like three days ago? So if I go from here to there and my story doesn't make any sense, just bear with me because this has been a two-year thing in the making. I said, let's just go. Just go do it. <laughs> so the first thing, of course, we're gonna do not to prime is a crime. If you are not on that Nimya boat yet, Nimya is my own brand. I created this. I put all my money into this and my wedding. This is my Where It All Starts cream. This is a moisturizer and primer in one. It leaves a tacky finish so that anything you put on top is really gonna stick onto it. Where to even begin? Well, if you don't know how Dylan proposed, I highly suggest you watching our proposal story time video. The foundation I used was the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear 30 hour foundation. I needed my base to last because my very special magical day started for me at 8.30, but I'll tell you more about the day itself. From the beginning, Dylan and I knew that we wanted to have a small wedding small as in small group of people that we really have welcomed into our heart, welcomed into our lives, and we ain't ever letting go. Luckily enough, Dylan and I did find the most perfect wedding planners on planet Earth very quickly. The ladies from Nanoon, I couldn't have done this without them. They have been such a force. We met up, so they were like, okay, what do you kind of see when you think of your dream wedding day? What are you doing on that day? And what do you want it to look like? We are huge foodies. We love food so much. And we love to party. We love to dance. We love to get drunk every now and then. Just unforgettable positivity. They said, okay, we're gonna deep dive and we're gonna see what we can come up with. And so it had begun. For concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Super Safe Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer number 10. So while the wedding planners started like, you know, collecting stuff to kind of make this the most unforgettable day of our lives, I also had to work on a dress. Now, and I think I'm gonna save the whole story time on the dress for a separate video because that in and of itself is just a drama show. I got in contact with Victor and Rolf. Now Victor and Rolf you might know from the fragrance Flower Bomb. They are the iconic two friends that just make the most insanely gorgeous haute couture. And we got in contact with them and they basically sketched out my dream dress. When I would think of my dream dress, it would always be like a tight waist, very sparkly like diamonds all over and then big on the bottom. And when I saw their sketch, I actually saw three sketches and I combined the top of one sketch and the bottom of another. And that was just my dream dress. I was like, that's my dress. That feels like the, the dress I've been seeing in my dreams since forever, but then even better. Did I start working on the dress? Maybe just what? four or five months ago. Mm. Yeah, I was pretty late with it. <laughs> Usually, you know, you plan your wedding dress years ahead, maybe at least like a year. And because some drama happened with another designer, again, separate video maybe. If you want to see it, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up or comment it down below. I was running out of time and I had about five months left to create my dream dress and Victor and Rolf were like, it's going to be tight, but we're going to do it. <gasps> oh. Oh, Nikki, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. 
prachtig. Oh, echt heel mooi. All right, let's do some cream blush because that blush needed to stay until I decided to take it off at the end of the day. Going for a nice, soft, pearly peach color. Very high up on the cheeks to give me that very young and fresh, flushed look. All right, I got a cream bronze slash contour using a darker color of the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. So about a week before the wedding, so last week, literally, Dylan and I decide to place down some bets about what we think the outfits are gonna look like, what my dress is gonna look like, what I think his suit is gonna look like. So Dylan said that my dress would be white slash off-white. I mean, what a surprise. <laughs> he says, how fripping yeah, on glitter, shimmer, shiny shit. Lots of boobs, waist tight. From there, it flows out to something big. Short sleeves and Dylan hair. Now Dylan hair is slicked back, brushed back hair. He loves it when I have hair like that. So that's his bets. My bets, he wears a dark green or gray suit with silver accents, a sparkle in the pocket, like the, you know, when they always have like a little pocket there. I say a black tie, blouse, white, the Gillette, the, the sort of Gillette, is something with a heavy pattern, black shoes, all right? Now, after placing these bets with Dylan, I kind of ask him, I'm like, what? Wouldn't you really like to see on me? I was, you know, kind of like testing the water, see what he would really absolutely hate. And he said, now you guys sit down, sit the hell down. He says, I don't necessarily love it when the dress is so big that it just kind of swallows you. I just had like one of my final fittings with Victor and Rolf and my dress is huge. It's not a subtle dress. The way I had a mental breakdown. For two days, two days, I went, he hates this dress. Dylan noticed how I wasn't really myself. He was like, what is going on with you? You seem stressed. And I'm like, you don't like big dresses. Dylan looked at me and said, sweetheart, I don't care what you wear. It's our day, it's our magical day. We're getting married. It's, you could wear a trash bag. I would still love you as long as you, meaning me, feel good and confident and magical in it. That's all that matters. And I cried, <laughs> I cried. He instantly took away all my fear of him hating the dress. It gave me the confidence that I needed and I need to powder fast. <laughs> To set the face, I'm using the Fit Me Loose Powder in 5, one of my favorite drugstore powders on the market. So let's move forward to the night before the wedding. Nerves are pretty okay. Um, Actually, I'm lying. No, they weren't. Because every time you get that text of someone saying, Oh my god, it's happening tomorrow. You're like, shut up, please don't tell me. I actually didn't expect it, but... We actually slept very well that night. I was feeling pretty confident about it. So I'm gonna uh, do my brows off camera. Then I'll be back to tell you about the morning of the most magical day of my life. All right, brows are done. Now it is time to focus on these eyes. And I had so much fun with these eyes. I'm using the Maybelline Shadow Blocks in number 30. So believe it or not, I did not plan my makeup look ahead. I just couldn't get myself to come up with something beforehand. I really wanted to wake up, see what kind of mood I was in and go from there. So, you know, I just sat down in the morning and from that moment, Dylan and I said goodbye. We would not see each other for the rest of the day until our first look. This glam process was just everything. It was very relaxing with the people I love and just, you know, getting into that zone. I was getting nervous you know, for that first look, but it was great. I do my glam, Mandy starts working on my hair, and I'm feeling great. Before I know it, it is time for our first look. This is the first time I will see Dylan in a suit. This is the first time Dylan will see me in my dress, my big dress. And this is the first time we'll see each other again and start this magical day with each other. So, so I walk outside and Mario just kind of plops me down. Uh, everyone tells me to close my eyes and they say, okay, keep them closed because Dylan is coming and someone is escorting Dylan outside like this so he can't see anything. We stand in front of each other and uh, they count down and we open our eyes. Hello, oh wow. You like, you like, subtil? Kusje, oh, mag het al? Mooi schat. Doe eens draaien. Ik kan het niet. Mooi, mooi schat. I love it. Ja. Oh. 
Ja, ga je al? Ja. Nee, heel mooi. Ja? That is a moment I'll never forget because you see each other and we're both nervous to find out our reactions and Dylan um, actually starts crying. Um, it gets very emotional and that's when like all the nerves, all the built up sort of like anxiousness falls off. It glides off of my shoulders and I feel the best ever. I look at his suit and I'm absolutely in love. He's wearing a green gray suit and my eye falls upon his, what do you call it? Like crochet, cro crochet, crochet, like the little flower. Um, and it's red. It's a red flower. It's a red crochet for my little brother, Mikai. Um, not crying while I'm showing you how to do my makeup. I just know Dylan and Mikai would have been just the best friends and I know they would have really clicked and had a, an amazing connection and friendship and the fact that they never could meet is very hard. <laughs> but the fact that he wore, you know, a red detail with his suit <sighs> just meant so much. And um, after we finished our first look with each other, it was time for our family to see us and they loved, loved our outfits, but what meant the most to me is that after we did our first look, Dylan had a, a box with more red crochets for all the men in our family. And that was just, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Dylan, you're ruining my makeup. <laughs> no one kept it dry after that, of course. <sighs> what a beautiful man, I'm married. <laughs> After the first look, by the way, let's uh, apply a gorgeous lid color. So I'm popping back on some of my eye base to make a nice tacky layer. So after Dylan and I had our first look, it was time for us to, you know, get some pictures taken, some photos taken, and that was so much fun to do. Uh, it was very surreal to be standing there in my dress for my family to see and for everyone to see and creating pictures for you guys to see. What's funny is because my dress was so big, there was so much meters of glitter tulle stacked upon each other. I was a bug collector. <laughs> and at one point, the photographer went, I see something black under your your, your skirt and I'm like Bleh. what's what why upon closer look we see like <laughs> hundreds of little bugs under the tool like kind of like stuck in there like help uh, help me out I'm stuck that was nuts um so Maria my stylist had to become a bug collector and get them all out basically at one point there was even a bee in there don't worry we saved it <laughs> I need to work on this eye I'm sorry <laughs> You know, when doing my glam, I wanted to see me in this look. And I am not a soft, wispy lash, a little bit of shine of the lit kind of gal. I need it all. I created like a fierce, smoky eye that even in 40 years can be like, yeah, I rocked that dark, smoky eye. Like, Dylan and I get to the venue. All the guests are seated. By the way, a little tip if you're watching this for inspiration for your own wedding. We had all our guests put away their phone and give them to the wedding planners. We did this to really live in the moment. We did I don't want people to kind of experience this magical day through their phone or through the cameras of their phone. We wanted them to be in the moment, present, and celebrating, you know, our marriage. So if there's anything to take away from this video, you're planning your own wedding, use that one. Prior to our wedding, I asked my good friend, Davina Michelle, you've seen her on this channel where we did a crazy singing challenge. I had this wild idea of asking her to sing our entrance. And there's one song that Dylan and myself really, really love and feel is very fitting to us. And that is Lady Gaga in A Star Is Born. I'll always remember us this way. I asked Davina if she wanted to sing that as an entrance on our wedding for the ceremony. She said yes. I don't know how, but she said yes. And she even came up with the idea to add violins the whole nine yards to suck the tears out of people's eyes. The way she stood there so calmly singing Remember Us This Way broke me and everyone out there. I'm walking down the aisle with my stepdad. He's giving me away to Dylan and Dylan is walking with his mom just a couple of minutes before me. And seeing people turn their heads and seeing everyone bawling their eyes out two seconds after was just so, I wanna say magical, but it was interesting. I was like, oh, these are all my friends and family, the people I care about the most, they're all crying. <laughs> 
And seeing everyone get so emotional, of course makes me emotional, duh. <laughs> I'm like, oh God, no, please, no. I can't cry again because my makeup survived one crying session. I don't know if it can survive more than that. So I stand there, oh my God, I can't believe I'm actually talking about this. Okay, funny story is the wedding officiator is actually, if you're from the Netherlands, you know that I won Vies de Mol 2020 and I won uh, the all-star season where Jeroen, kijk in de verte, was the mole. And we just got such a strong connection and strong friendship by doing that show together that he is our wedding officiator. He has the most iconic voice. Before he lets me go to Dylan, um, Yoon has a speech. And um, I think I want to keep to myself and the people that were there how meaningful the speech was, every speech that was done at the ceremony. But it just beautiful, just beautiful. The love, the laughs, the jokes, just, it was magical, you guys. I was going to cry again. <laughs> um, I'm never going to finish this eye. <laughs> I couldn't ask for a more beautiful ceremony than that day. Um, so after the ceremony, Dylan and I stand up and it's time for us to say yes, which I am going to show you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take it in. <laughs> Lieve Dylan Robert Drossaars, neem jij aan tot je echtgenote, de prachtige Nikki de Jager... En beloof je trouw alle verplichtingen en verantwoordelijkheden die de wet en de liefde aan de huwelijkse staat stellen te zullen vervullen. Wat is daarop jouw antwoord? Ja, Lieve Nikki de Jager, neem jij aan tot je echtgenoot. Die intense lieve Dylan Robert Drossaars en beloof je trouw alle verplichtingen en verantwoordelijkheden die de wet en de liefde aan de huwelijkse staat stellen te zullen vervullen. Wat is daarop jouw antwoord? Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Dan verklaar ik jullie bij deze. Tot man en vrouw, jullie zijn door het huwelijk verbonden. Van harte gefeliciteerd. Jullie mogen elkaar kussen. Ja, natuurlijk. I can't believe that in that moment, we're husband and wife. I'm taking on Dylan's last name behind my own name. So my name now is, I know this is a shock to everyone, my last name is not Nick Tutorials. My name now is Nikki de Jager Drossaars. De Jager means hunter in Dutch. I don't know what Drossaars means, but it's my name now. <laughs> Okay, so I'll tell you more about the cake and the party and the food. I'm gonna do this other eye, pop a lash on, and some rhinestones to really add in that drama because that's me, and I'll be right back. Oh! All right, eyes are done, and like I said, I didn't want any harsh lines, and I even contemplated even doing these rhinestones, but I noticed how on the day itself, it truly like lifted my vibe, and I was like, this is me. On the waterline, I applied the White Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Liner by Maybelline, and of course, the Sky High Waterproof Mascara by Maybelline on bottom and top lashes in the cobalt. These are actually the exact same falsies that I had on during the wedding. And I'm actually surprised at how they're not crusty from all the crying at all. I'm gonna bronze and warm up my complexion using the City Bronzer in 100 by Maybelline. After the ceremony, it was time for the cake. The cake was actually made by Robert van Beekhoven and for all my Dutchies, you know Robert. Robert and I were on the same season of Vies de Mol the first time I joined. It was kind of like a, a small, Vies de Mol reunion. Um, he made our cake and I was so proud and happy that he wanted to do it. The cake was, okay, the filling was Oreo, white chocolate, passion fruit. It was, it was stunning. It was absolutely stunning. And then instead of doing like a grand big cake, I actually wanted to give people options. So we had like small petite fours, petite fours small little cakes. So people had variation. <laughs> actually, after the cake moment, it was time for me to throw a bouquet. So actually my brother's girlfriend caught it. So I guess we have another tutorials wedding in the making. <laughs> and after throwing the bouquet, it was time for me to get the hell out of my Victor and Rolf dress because a six course meal was awaiting. Now taking the Maybelline Fit Me blush in the color 25 pink rose. Now, of course, when you're doing a six course meal with corresponding wine, uh, people get drunk, but people, you know, also get a little tired at the end, you know, a little sleepy, a little snooze fest. Our wedding planners had the genius idea of getting a live band with like drums and trumpets 
and just very high energy band. The band took us to the dance floor and on the dance floor, we they played some more and we started dancing and we had like a little dance battle on who could like twerk the best and I wasn't the winner. And a lot of people the next day said that that part was their favorite because it was so high energy, so upbeat, so uplifting. So happy. For a highlighter, I'm taking this Maybelline Master Chrome in the color 250. It's so good. It's so good. It really catches the light. People are like, girl, you glowing. And I said, thank you. Yes, I am. But maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Let's move on to the lips, shall we? I already went ahead and lined them. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Ultimate Color Sensational Matte Lipstick in the color uh, 699 More Buff. The ultimates, literally, when they set, they don't move. And I think one of the, the hardest things for me to accept was the fact that Dylan asked me not to wear my Nimia Spill the Juice lip glosses because he was like, when you kiss me in the ceremony, I love Nimia and I love you, but I don't want that all over my mouth for the photos. <laughs> And then because I did want to keep things very, very soft, I took the Ultimate Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in the color 199 More Ruby, and that is going as a pop of freshness on that inner portion of the lip. So we apply it like this, apply it straight to the lip, and a smack, mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. And then with your brush, kind of work in the edges. I love, love this lip. I love it, I'm obsessed. It's like nude with a punch of freshness, this is my favorite lip right now. I would add a gloss, but you know, I was trying to help Dylan. And now to seal the deal, of course, of course, I have to use my Nimia Set It and Forget It setting spray. I used this spray and I didn't have to worry about my makeup going away. So we're gonna spray and then right after, lock it in using our Nimia Blow Before You Go fan. So let's go. Really get that nice and drenched. Now lock it in place with your fan so it dries instantly and your face will last until you decide to take it off. And that, my glow babies, is what my most magical day of my life looked like, my wedding with Dylan. If you are planning your own wedding, baby, you got this. I know it, it comes with a lot. There's a lot to consider and there's a lot to think about, but maybe you could draw some inspiration from this video and if there's anything you want to know more, maybe I should do a part two because I feel like I'm forgetting half of what happened uh, during our day. But yeah, that is mainly about it, I guess. <laughs> now, don't forget, if you want a separate video on the dress and all the drama, please give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and before I let you go of course there's a Dutch word of the day let's do it today's Dutch word of the day is bride because I'm team bride let's go bruid. Bruid. on my wedding day I felt like the most gorgeous bruid there ever was <laughs> I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this story time. Share the love. Love is love. I love love. I love love so much. I love Dylan. I gotta go be Mrs. Tutorials out there. Gots to go, babes. I love you. Bye. <laughs>